Bethany had a really successful move when she used pods to relocate from Oakland, California to Arlington, Virginia. But the truth is, that's not enough for you to say pods is the best for your move. Don't get me wrong, pods is a really good option, but an informed decision is a good decision, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Here's everything you need to know about pods. I'll talk about real life moving experiences like Bethany's, both positive and negative, cost, competitors, and an overall review about pods. I'm Sergio from Move Buddha. Real quick, if you don't know what Move Buddha is, we're a moving resource. Everything you need to know about moving, we have talked about it somewhere on our website, or at least we should have. If you have any questions still, I'm literally here to help. Just leave a comment or browse our website. It's what we do. But before we get started, let's answer this question. What kind of company even is Pods Moving and Storage? Pods is a moving container company. What does this mean? When you book with Pods, you schedule a delivery, they drop off a container at your origin, you load it, and then they come and pick it up. They then deliver it to your destination, you unload it, and then they take the container away forever. This is different from a professional mover because they don't offer packing or loading services. You have to do the actual work yourself, just not the driving. So if you're not up for that, consider a professional mover. I've linked our top picks in the description below. So it's generally cheaper to get a moving container like Pods than it is to hire a professional mover. That being said, it's not as cheap as getting a rental truck like a U-Haul. But as you can imagine, the big benefit here is you don't have to drive a big truck long distances when you book with Pods. So after hearing exactly what a moving container is, you may decide this is absolutely perfect, but how much does this cost? I could give you the generic internet answer for these types of questions. It depends. I hate that answer when I'm doing research. So I'm going to share with you real life examples of what actual people paid when they booked with Pods, as well as rough guidelines for what you might expect to pay. If you'd like a more personalized ballpark answer, Moobita can help with that. Just visit our moving cost calculator that's linked in the description and you'll get an answer within one minute of what you should expect to pay for your move. Whether you're choosing a moving container company like Pods, hiring professional movers, or just renting a truck. Here are a bunch of real life examples of what people paid using Pods. If you're moving locally, you should expect Pods to charge between $214 and $858, depending on the size of your move. If you're moving within 250 miles, you may pay between $459 and $2,180. And finally, if you're moving cross country, like the example from before, you may pay between $2,349 and just below $7,000. There are other factors besides the size of your move, such as availability and when you're moving. Remember, for a personalized ballpark estimate of your move cost, use our moving cost calculator. We update those prices monthly. Now, who is Pods right for? Pods is especially ideal for people who need storage because the container can double as a storage unit, are staging a home, don't mind doing the loading, or you don't have a place at your destination yet. Pods is probably not the best idea for big city moves because these things can be hard to park. It's also not ideal for people who don't have a flat place to leave your container. Finally, if you're planning on leaving your moving container on the street, check ahead of time because sometimes you're just not allowed to. So should you go ahead and just book with pods? To be honest, that would probably be fine, but it's not what I'd recommend to do right away. You see, there are other moving container companies and each one is a little different. Actually, as you may be aware, pods is one of the most popular moving container companies. So one of the drawbacks is that they can be pretty busy during the peak season and that means that prices can be high. So compare quotes from different moving container companies. I mentioned that there are multiple moving container companies to choose from and I'll be going over those and what's unique about each of them so you can pick the right one for your move. And don't worry about trying to remember all of these. I'll have a link in the description that compares all of these on movebuddha.com in more detail so you can take your time comparing at your own pace. Okay so the first pods competitor to consider is UPAC. UPAC is our top choice amongst pods competitors in terms of price Pricing, they're hard to beat. They also have coverage across the entire nation, which isn't entirely true for Pods. One big difference between Pods and UPAC is that Pods customers get unlimited loading and unloading time, while UPAC customers are generally limited to three days for each. Another reason not to go with UPAC is that they are not an option for local moves. But the absolutely coolest reason to go with UPAC is that they have the option to only pay for the space that you use in your freight container. Also, they have relatively fast deliveries. This happened to Jason who moved from Oregon to South Carolina and was quoted $6,100, but only ended up paying $4,500 as his items ended up taking up less space than expected. So if you're moving out of state, consider UPAC. 
The next company to get a quote from is 1-800-PACKRAT. First of all, I love this name, but they also offer price matching, which is arguably more important. To me, the main thing that sets 1-800-PACKRAT apart is that they use barn-style doors in their containers, which is a subtle difference to Pod's roll-up doors, but it matters if you're planning on packing the heck out of your container. It's worth noting, though, that 1-800-PACKRAT doesn't quite have the national coverage that Pod's does. So the next one is for you city dwellers. You may have been watching this video and everything sounds great, but it may have occurred to you, where in the world am I supposed to park an oversized container for days. Don't worry, I told you, this is what we do. If you live in a city with limited space to keep a storage container, you should strongly consider Zippy Shell. So Zippy Shell is another moving container company that's a little different because it has street legal container sizes. This means that you can just park it just as you would a car, you just need to find a parking spot for it. Their pricing structure is also set up in bare bones plus add-on style, which means you have the option of paying relatively little if all you need is the absolute basics. So what if you're the total opposite? You you're moving a large home and there's absolutely no way that a container you can parallel park in New York City is going to cut it for your move. For that, I recommend Moving Place. Moving Place is head and shoulders above the competition when it comes to offering full-size trailers for really big moves. As you may imagine, the issue here is that if you don't have very much space to load, there's little you can do to park a 28-foot or a 53-foot trailer. Another slight limitation for Moving Place is that they'll only do moves that are over 250 miles. They will, however, ship your car. So yeah, if you have the space and a large home to move and you're willing to DIY the loading, consider Moving Place. The final POTS competitor I want to talk to you about is U-Haul. Not the rental trucks though, they have their own containers creatively called U-Box. U-Box moving containers are cost-effective alternatives for small studio and one-bedroom apartment moves. U-Box is generally the cheapest option amongst these container companies and I'd strongly recommend them for small, inexpensive moves. Think for example, a college student move. Now back to pods. So I promised I'd talk about real life experiences using pods, both positive and negative. Bethany, Kyle, Michelle, and Hassan all moved out of state using pods. And to be honest, the first three were totally uneventful, which for a moving experience is exactly what you want. Pods had great communication, delivered everything on time, and everyone was happy with their move. Boring, I know. For Hassan's move, however, pods had issues with communication. And although they did eventually get the job done, the delivery was way later than expected. This was really frustrating for Hassan, but considering some of the absolute nightmare stories that we hear about with movers that actually suck, this really was just an unfortunate but honest mistake. Pods has a good track record and plenty of success stories and tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Speaking of reviews, this is the official Move Buddha take on who Pods is right for. Pods is great for customers who don't want to shell out big bucks for full-service movers, don't want to drive a moving truck, want to save money and get the services they want by doing a hybrid move, want to take their time loading and unloading, are moving locally or to another state, or they need storage for 30 days or more. These containers can be stored on site or at a company facility. Thanks for watching and remember to check out the links in the description to learn more about Pods costs, competitors, and reviews, and to use our moving cost calculator for a ballpark estimate for your move.